Hey guys, it's me, Jenny B. Welcome back to West of Loathing. Last time we played this, we visited the um, place with the bones and the grave, like stones. The bones and the gravestones. We saw family. A dad, a daughter, and a baby, but we didn't see a mom. I'm thinking, this is the chick the bartender was telling us about that lost her whole family. So I think maybe we could talk to her. Are you Susie Cochran? How, how do you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. Susie scowls bitterly and mutters into her whiskey. I saw it happen. I saw the whole damn thing and couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender says it was the cows. Cows, right. I don't know what those things were, but they ain't cows, not anymore. What happened? It was a raid. See, Mom and Pa used to ranch cattle back before... Well, back before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me in the place when she passed. Go on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked. A couple days ago... Happened so fast, I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Smashed cows in the front door and fire started out back by the root cellar. House went up in blazes just like that. What did you do? I... There was nothing I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire, and I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. I just... She drains her glass. I ain't want to talk about it anymore. Sorry. She refills her mug from a bottle on the bar doesn't reply. What will you do now? Head west, I suppose. There's nothing keeping me here and no desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It was my ma's rifle. It's all I got left of... of anybody. Where is it? Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you for a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I'll go get it, sure. Alright, so that's where we're heading. Heading off to her ranch. Yep, here we go. And we're gonna get her rifle. Let's see. Yipes! Oh yeah, don't, don't want any more scabs. I am, uh, got lots of scabs. All the water in this trough has boiled away. Okay, Susie's ranch house has been burned to the ground. Is there anything? Wait. Something behind the store is making some pretty awful noises. Go through it anyway. Oh. So downstairs. Whee. Looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Grab it. Got a barb mint skinny knife. Woohoo! What is that? Oh my god. What are you? What are you? What are you? This thing looks angry. You're not gonna make it to that safe without dealing with it. Deal with it, I guess. Okay, then. Okay. Um. Attack. Nice. Nervous. Oh, ouch. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire! I didn't know that was actually like a status effect. Good to know. Am I gonna continuously be on fire? Do I, do I have to do something to cure that? I have to feel the nasty cow skull floating in a cloud of flame! Hooray! I don't think I'm on fire. The pipes were... Oh, these pies were... Not safe. Pies? Can, can we... Can we eat them anyway? Um... I'm thinking this is a gun. Yep, there we go. Susie's rifle. Just scrape. Skate on out of here! Whee. I still hear crazy noises though. The house, the only thing still standing. Hmm. Is that it? There's still. You guys hear that? Wait. Really? There's nothing left? Maybe that's just the wind blowing through the cacti. Alright, just waddle on back to the town of Boring Springs. Susie! Susie, I have your goon! No, I don't want to talk to you. Susie, 
You found my rifle yet, stranger? Yep, here she is. Susan's eyes well up with tears as you hand her the rifle, and she roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before any of them spill over. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Cora. Thanks, Cora. Can't rightly say what this means to me. She looks at her rifle for a long time, then she backs up at you. Or she looks back up at you. She sighs. Well, that's enough wallowing in my misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want to tag along when you head west, just say the word. Sounds good, Susie. Oh, I could bring Susie out west now? Oh my gosh, so I either have Gary or Susie? Such hard decisions. How can I possibly decide? I'm gonna go to the only place I haven't gone to yet. Thousand Snakes Gulch. Gulch. Hello. One of these rocks is shining. Grab it. I got it, me a shining rock. Oh, I'm sad. I got a sad face too when I run in. Do I have to? The snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Let's attack it anyway. We got the jump on him. Surprise attack! So easy with my giant saber. You've slain a snake. Before long, they'll call you Snake Murdering Cora. You tell your trusty barman skin a knife and go to town. Oh, sweet. Now I can skin an like animals and junk like that. Ooh, don't want to go into cat. Another snake? Well, I guess this one's it's not called One Snake Gulch. You're right. Whoa, these jerks are quick. Am I poisoned? Oh, no. Am I going to stay poisoned? That's not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Victory. Skin me another. Alright, I got me some rattlesnake skin. So, what does that do? Put it on your hat to add three muscle. Yeah? You wrap the skin around your hat and clap it together with the snake's fangs, which you forgot to remove from the skin. Okay. Is that gonna apply more? Your hat's already got a hat band on it. You don't want to be the person that shows up to the party wearing multiple hat bands, do you? I mean, it's the same kind of hat band. I didn't even know hat band was a word. Okay, I guess I'm not doing that. Look at my rattlesnake hat band! Hiya! This snake looks really angry. You're gonna need every trick in the book to beat this one. Crap. I guess I'm good at tricks. Oh. You were like coming across like it was the snake boss or something. This guy ain't nothing. All I gotta do is hit him twice like I did with the other two. Nice work. The whole Calgore thing doesn't work out. You could always be get a great job at a snake exterminator. Got more snakes. What is going on with this horse? Hey, horse. Just gone snake crazy. Or maybe he's got some other kind of crazy. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm gonna. I'm a friend. No. It's cool, all right. Don't be cool. Don't freak out on me. Hey, <laughs> hey. Look him in the eyes, pat his nose. Hmm. Look him in the eyes. <clears throat> you look calmly. You look, you calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard stare and the other is evolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calmed down a little now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders though. Pat his nose! You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit, okay? A lot! But it seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in his skull of his. That's a good boy! Earn! Feed him the oats! Are you hungry, boy? I got a treat for you! Snurf. <laughs> snurf, snurf! You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats and it gallops away with a whiny or rather... Hopefully he's headed home and not to the 12th dimension. Cool. Gotta wipe my butt though. Alright, I want to see if the trader will give me some more dynamite. So I can go blow up that spot in the mine. Oh, he's washing himself. Hello, Braid. Dang it. Well, how am I gonna blow up that spot? 
Alright, so I think the last place I have on my map is where I was in the very beginning of this playthrough and it's the Fricker Games hideout. I think I can get him now. Alright, Thud Fricker, the Fricker Games Intrepid Lookout appears to be taking a little nap. Uh, I guess we'll ignore him for now. Oh, I can harvest? Dang it, how do I get these perks? How do I get this stuff? Okay, things are looking familiar. You cautiously approach the Fricker Gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You had Band and Barrow and eavesdrop for the conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather his name is Snipe, and the squirrely one is his brother Wimpy. What's your play here? Approach them and talk. How do boys do me in? I remember this. The one with the eye patch raises his eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? I'm here for the sheriff's door. A fight it is! And this time I could actually get ya! Yes! Oh dang. Can this me? Maybe you should have a saber like me! Oh no. Oh gosh, I still died. I'm gonna see what Wake It Up This Guy does. Wake him up! You poke Thud with your boot. He slowly gets to his feet. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Thud is... Well, let's say he's no Rhodes Scholar. If we assume that it's seven years from now and that idiom makes sense, you kind of feel bad about the idea of killing him. Alright, let's fight Thud. I kind of want to see if I could, uh... If maybe you could give me something I could wear so I could beat your brother as much easier. Okay, Soapy. One of the Fricker boys is dozing in the tub. Shoot him. Let's just shoot him. Wait. Who was the trade that Braid had? Was it a soap for a lock or a lock for a soap? I'm just gonna shoot him. If you find you find his pants next to the bathtub, grab his gun because you don't want to get yours wet. You hold the gun under the water to muffle the sound and put one in his heart. One bullet, in case you didn't know what you were putting in his heart, you monster. I got the ruthless perk. What is that? You're a cold-blooded killer and people see it in your eyes. It's often the last thing they see, in fact. These options will be available in some situations. Oh my gosh. rub a dub dub Is there anything? Can I just walk past them? She wanted them in the back, yeah. Draw your pistol and execute the one with the eye patch. His brother screams, just behind a barrel, and starts firing at you wildly. Oh my gosh! Am I gonna be able to do it? Am I gonna be able to actually beat this? Oh my god, that's how you do it! That's actually how you do it. That's awesome. The leader of the Fricker Gangs are dead by your hand. The sheriff will be proud of you, though you're not sure how your mother would feel. Time to get the door. Is that one of the mugs? Sweet. Um, take that. Ooh, yeah, the door. Gotta grab the door. Some stalactites. No dynamite, though. How am I gonna blow up the hole? Oh, we did everything except blow up the door. I'm gonna have to look up how to do it. If any of you guys know where I can get the third stick of dynamite, I would love to find out. Wait, that's not where I'm gonna go. Sheriff. Sheriff. Sheriff, I got the door. I got you, Dur Sheriff. I see the Fricker Gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand Sheriff his door and he hangs it back on its hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four more times secure. Are there any Fricker boys left for me to round up? Nope, they won't be bothering this town anymore. Well, now, that's a load right off my mind. Looks like I owe you a reward. 500 meat? That's so much meat. Do I have a refrigerator that I'm storing all this meat in? Because they can't be, like, staying fresh. Got another little task for you if you got the time. Should be a lot simpler than the last one. What you need? Well, the Frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. I'll keep an eye out. Okay, so... Howdy. This soap for a lock. Where, where do I get a soap? 
Alright, you guys, I'm gonna end it here for right now. Um, the next episode, I think we actually leave Boring Springs and we start heading west. And I gotta figure out if I wanna bring Gary or Susie. They both seem very good candidates, you know. Um, before I wanna leave, I'm gonna see if I could try and find the soap and if I can get the last stick of dynamite, and then we're on our way west. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of West of Loathing, and I hope you catch me later.